AI animation videos can make you thousands of dollars per month. Here is an example of one of my faceless videos and I do not show my face in it at all and it has made almost $2,000 so far in ad revenue and it's still getting great amounts of views. And at the moment, there are so many amazing tools to animate characters or animate images. You can create talking cartoon characters, you can create psychedelic types of animations, you can make realistic looking influencers like this. And in today's video, I want to show you how to use all of these tools for free or the free versions of those tools to achieve some some excellent results. The first tool is this tool here called Minimax. Right now, Minimax AI is completely free and it's a platform that allows you to create these videos. I'm gonna show it to you in just a second, but basically you put in a creative prompt and it will create a video output for you. So here is the prompt and the video that it produces of a bear resting on the chair. So that's just an actual prompt. If you drop this same prompt, you will get a similar quality of video. I mean, this looks amazing. There's a scene with this prompt of just a wooded area. So this is kind of like a realistic looking generation. I mean, look at the quality of this. This is amazing. Uh, this is something a little bit more out of clear fantasy land, but once again, the quality of this is outstanding. So let's give it a test and let's see what kind of video this prompt will generate for us. So let's click create. So you'll just need to sign in. Then you can see that this will cost us 30 credits and you get 1100 credits with your free trial. I've also taken a screenshot from one of my videos Okay, so I'm just going to give this prompt a guy in a white shirt sitting down on a chair speaking to the camera gets blown away by a strong storm. The wind and storm pushes him out of the frame. The water fills the screen. And let's generate this and we'll see how both of these perform. Here is another example of an image to a video. So look at this. It was just a still video. And without any prompts, this is what it has done. This is amazing. The quality is really, really good. The next tool I want to show you is Kling AI. Kling AI really stands out at the moment because of their pricing plan. They have a free plan, which is effectively $0 and you get free credits daily by just logging in so you can generate free videos every single day. So Kling has got both text to video and image to video options. And let's just check how this prompt does. Nemo from the Matrix walking down a brightly lit corridor. So let's just see if we can generate a scene like that. There is a standard mode and a professional mode with a trial. You actually get five trial uses of the professional mode. So that should be high quality for us. So let's just choose this aspect ratio. You also have some control over camera movement in the scene. So let's just see if we can pan it, how it's going to work for us. Okay, we're gonna pan it left, let's say. And let's now click generate and let's see the result. And here is a bit of a silly example of a previous one that I created in Kling AI. The prompt was lizard surfing on a surfboard in the ocean with money floating in the water. So if we just play that, okay, you can see that the quality is actually quite okay. You can upscale it as well. But overall, I mean, it looks damn realistic. This kind of quality is good enough to publish on social media. You do get better quality with the upgraded plans. So keep in mind that this was generated on a completely free plan. All right, so next let's talk about Vigil AI. And this is a very fun service because you can copy their movements onto another character. And there's also the remix function where you can change the character the full character, including face and body in a particular shot or in a particular video. The cool thing is once again, that Viggle has actually got a free plan. So for $0, you get 10 free videos per day and maximum 60 seconds generated video duration. So you can create 10 reels for Instagram, YouTube, etc., etc., on each account. All right, so I'm here inside Viggle dashboard now and let's try the mix functionality first. So we need to create the original video so you can upload and drag and drop your own video if you want to or you can use one of these templates. So you can click on templates. It's not very obvious, it's just underneath. And here you can use any of these as the starter. Lots of different categories. There are some dance videos here in the templates. There is also, we can go into sports. So that's a pretty cool one. Look, there's Ronaldo and Mr. Beast. So maybe let's take this, Cristiano Ronaldo, show speed dance. Okay, so it's basically it's going to be this one and I'm going to place myself in there. And I've uploaded this photo over here so that I can substitute myself into this video and let's see how it goes. Okay, that's ready. All right, and there we go. Let's see how it is. This does look like me. That's done a pretty good job. Maybe I should have worn shoes, not just socks. This is pretty cool though. I mean, Here is another one that got generated out of Kling AI. So this was my prompt, camera panning on a beautiful tropical island. And this is how it's turned out. I think it's actually really, really good. Okay, let me just play this for you. So this looks super realistic. I mean, this is a tropical island 
and the camera is panning the way that I wanted it to be. So uh, pretty happy with this. Now let's see how it handles a more realistic type of a clip. So let's just create this. All right, so let's play this. All right, and the next tool that I want to show you is called Crea AI. And this tool actually allows you to upscale and enhance the videos that were generated by AI and make them look less AI generated. And the cool thing is that they also have a free plan. So for on a completely free plan, you can get free daily generations and you can also get some access to some of the Korea tools. If you want any of the other tools, there are paid plans, but what we're gonna do today is gonna be all based on their free plan. So we're gonna use the enhance capability first and let's just see if we can enhance this previously generated football video. There are a few presets with which you can change the output. So for example, the strength of the upscale, a little bit less, a little bit more. Okay, resemblance. You can use the preset cinematic render or animation. Let's just go with cinematic. Okay, so let's see how the enhancement function worked for us on Korea AI. So this is the original video and let's check out the detail after the enhancement. So first let's look at the detail on the shirt. So this is after enhancement and this is before enhancement. You can see that it has gotten a lot better and you got a lot more detail. You got the folds and the creases on the shirt. Same on the pants, you can see that here we got a lot more detail, looks a lot more realistic. And before it was kind of just straight lines, but now it's actually enhanced it and made it much, much more realistic. Uh, the other thing that has happened is I was wearing socks when I took the initial photo, but afterwards it kind of made it look a little bit more like I've got boots, but that's okay. I probably should have been wearing, uh, you know, soccer or football shoes anyway. Now I want to show you the function of Korea where you can use the animator capability to create some really, really cool video outputs. Okay, so over here we've got a timeline and here in the timeline we can actually upload keyframes or images in any given point in time. I'm going to choose clip duration to be five seconds. So let's remove these default images. We don't want them. Then we'll want to go to the very, very start and here click add keyframe and you can upload your image. Um, I'm gonna start with this image of turtles swimming underwater. Okay, so I'm going to go with this and then for text prompt, I'm going to get these turtles to turn into butterflies and I want them to turn to butterflies by around two seconds. So I'm going to add a keyframe here. Okay, so this image that looks okay to me, let's add that in. Okay, so for the first second or so, I want to have tropical ocean underwater turtles are swimming and then around here, I want them to start turning into butterflies. Okay, so here I'm saying tur turtles turn into butterflies and are continuing to dance underwater. Okay, so I'm going to extend that prompt all the way to the end. I'm going to choose the experimental style over here and let's now click generate video. All right, and now you can see the preview. So we've got turtles and they're then turning into butterflies, which is pretty cool. So the tool is still enhancing at the moment. So it's still kind of optimizing it. All right, so now our full res is ready. Let's just have a preview of it. Okay, so we've got the butterflies. Yep, so now here we've got the turtles and you can see the turtles slowly turn into butterflies. Only your imagination is the limit for what you can create with this function. It's amazing. You can create quite long um, animation clips and you can create really, really awesome videos that just will blow your viewers' minds. One thing that I want to just stress once again is that everything that I've done today in Korea was done using the free plan. I have not paid for anything, so you can do all of this using the free access tier. Next on the list, I want to show you this tool called Hedra. So Hedra allows you to create speaking characters so you can animate any image and you can get it to talk and synchronized with the audio that you provide. So extremely powerful tool. Hedra comes with a very generous free plan. So everything that we're gonna do today will be done using the free plan. All right, so I've just uploaded a vocal sample from one of my previous videos. China has a history that stretches back over 3,500 years. So basically something like this. Now I'm going to take a character and I'm going to animate this character. Now, of course, for audio, you've got other options. You can actually just record straight into the app. You can also 
right and it will generate the voice for you if you like but i'm going to use an uploaded mp3 file that i previously generated to choose your character you can upload an image with a character you can generate your own character or you can use a photo so i'm i've entered this prompt to generate a character okay so this will do fine for me let's just go ahead and try with this character and keep in mind that you can actually use different sizes so you can use 9 by 16 16 by 9 and 1 by 1 depending on uh, where you're going to use this footage. All right, and there we go. I'm just going to play this for you. Let's see how it's turned out. China has a history that stretches back over 3,500 years. China has traditionally been regarded as a land of mystery. Only in the last 100 years, the secrets of ancient China have started to be on this is very realistic and look how good the quality of lip syncing is it's actually uh, really really good the next tool i want to show you is adobe express and it actually has a ton of ai capabilities and i think that a lot of people don't know about adobe express it's just all web-based so you can go ahead and click uh, get adobe express free adobe express allows you to do quite a lot of stuff so first i'll show you the generate with ai section so here you've got options to generate images, remove objects, insert objects, generate the template and so forth. So I'm gonna run this prompt over here of a middle-aged male sitting at a cafe drinking coffee. Okay, let's see what it comes up with here. Let's click generate. You've got a lot of options here. You can reference images for style, for composition and so forth as well. So it's quite powerful, but let's just see what it comes up by default. It's actually created a few variations here for me. So we can go with any of these. It's pretty high quality and extremely easy to use. And of course, you've got the additional controls here. You can refine your prompts. You can also fine tune what you get using these options over here. You can also remove objects. I'll just show you how that works. So basically you can remove anything and it will generate the missing components. So to get started, brush over an area of an image. Okay, so we're just going to do this. Let's just remove the cookies. Okay, well, it's only removed one cookie in this instance, but basically you can play around with it and you can get the objects removed. I can't cover all the functions of Adobe Express in detail, but you can go through it. Honestly, is an extremely, extremely powerful tool and it is completely free to use, which is really awesome. As an example, you can just animate characters here under the video options. So this is what I've been able to get. I'm just going to click play. China has a history that stretches back over 3,500 years. China has traditionally been regarded as a land of mystery. So that's quite nice and you'll probably find it helpful in your day-to-day -day work when you're creating content. Next tool I want to show you is called Immersity AI and it's extremely powerful because it can create visual depth effects like this on your images. So we start with an image. I'm going to use just a static image like this one over here. Okay, so that's the image that I'm going to use. And now that it's been processed by Immersity AI, look at what's happening. It's already been animated like this. And now you've got different controls that you can play with over here. So you can choose different animation styles. For example, right now we've got perspective, but we can choose vertical and it's going to be tilting vertically up and down. This is zoom left. So you can see it's kind of just flying through this photo like this. So that's pretty awesome too. You've got these manual settings where you can play around with the sliders and you can really get a lot of different uh, customized effects. You can choose the amount of motion from very little to a lot. Okay, so you can kind of fly way in and way out depending on this slider. There's animation length controls. You can set your focus point to be where you want it to be. So it really is a very powerful and very interesting and very different tool. You can set the length of the animation anywhere from one second to 10 seconds, and then you can export that clip. I really hope you found this video useful. If you did, then I'd super appreciate it if you can smash the like button just underneath this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And if you want to learn how to use AI to create short seven second clips and how I've been doing it, and making money with this kind of content, then you can go to fastervideos.com, just enter your email and you'll be able to access my course teaching you all of this on a seven day free trial. All the links to everything I've covered in this video are just in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and you can go ahead and watch this video next. This video will show you some other awesome AI tools and how you can create content with them fast and earn from posting this AI generated content online. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.